As Moroni outlined how Nephites organized their worship services, he mentioned singing. Although the text does not indicate when this practice was officially instituted, there is a long history of the use of music and hymns in ancient Israelite and Judeo-Christian worship. Nephite worship practices can be seen as fitting nicely into this tradition. The singing of hymns extends back to the sacred ceremonies of the ancient Israelite tabernacle and temple worship. Biblical scholar Margaret Barker has stated, the Psalms were the hymn book of the temple. This practice continued through the development of Judaism and was adopted by the earliest Christians. The ancient Jews who wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls were clearly interested in composing and singing hymns. Among the scrolls, more texts from the Book of Psalms were found than from any other biblical book. The Book of Mormon's first authors brought the tradition of singing hymns with them when they left Jerusalem. The singing of sacred hymns in Moroni's day was by no means an unexpected occurrence. And now you know why.